I've argued that when it comes to physics, nothing sucks. And some people like to challenge that notion and ask, well, if that's the case, how do drinking straws work? How can I suck the beverage out of my glass? Well, I'd say that you don't. I'd say you allow the atmosphere to push the fluid up through the straw. So as you collapse your cheek, the volume inside your mouth drops, which drops the pressure. Now the pressure doesn't drop to zero, but the pressure inside your mouth gets closer to zero. It's certainly not going to become negative. It's still going to be a positive amount of pressure inside your mouth, but it'll be a positive, smaller pressure. Now the pressure that's acting at the other end of the straw, provided it's somewhere below the uh, beverage level in your glass, that pressure is due to the atmosphere. So the atmosphere is pushing down, and as long as that positive pressure is high in comparison to the small positive pressure in your cheeks, then the atmosphere pushes the fluid. So uh, this diagram is suggesting the same thing, right? The pressure pushing down is what allows the fluid to go into the low pressure region inside of your mouth. Is there an upper limit to the length of a drinking straw? I remember as a kid, I thought it was the coolest thing when I learned I can link together multiple straws, and I found that it kind of made a mess, but I was able to drink through three or more straws connected together. Could we continue linking straws forever? Could I take a trip to a uh, high-rise hotel and step out onto the balcony of the 40th floor and expect to drink from a glass down on the uh, pool deck at the bottom floor? I don't think so. Remember that absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure. And gauge pressure is the added pressure you have with depth. So it's equal to rho g h. And sort of like there's an upper limit to the height of a properly functioning barometer, then there's an upper limit to the drinking straw. Once the height of the straw becomes great enough so that the gauge pressure is an uh, extra atmosphere, then no amount of pushing from the atmosphere here can account for the weight of all the fluid that would be in a straw that's too tall. And because most of the fluids we drink have a density pretty close to that of water, then the maximum height of a drinking straw is limited to 10.3 meters or 33 feet. But still, that would be impressive to drink through a straw 33 feet long. Now I've seen people drink through straws that are longer than 33 feet. You can Google it yourself, world's longest straw. And so there's examples where people have taken straws like this, but the trick here is they're not extending the straw vertically that distance, they're extending it horizontally. And in that case, they haven't added any value of H, right? When we talk about pressure varies with height, we're talking about a vertical displacement. Do you believe me? Nothing sucks in physics.